Hey guys, um, welcome to my video. I'm gonna show you how to work this disc cloth on the other video. Um, I'm gonna show you how to cast on. Um, I'm using double coated needles for this one, but you don't have to use double coated needle because I make it tight, but it's gonna make a lot of stitches, but it's gonna cram on the needle. So this is a disc cloth I made that other video. I'm gonna show you how I did this right here and I'm just going to take a while so I get my yarn a needle, any size needle, whatever so I cast on like this, make a slip knot okay, and the string post to go like that and I knit a regular um, go like this across, but instead of your knitting, go over that loop, right here, and over. And, so again, so I go over that, and loop inside of there. And it's really easy for get beginners, but might be tricky. Tricky is um, actually scarf is easy for beginners, and you, if you want to learn how to do different things, a lot of YouTube people out there in this. Um, so I had to just check my phone because uh, I was gonna play music on my other YouTube on my YouTube phone. So yep. Hold on. So I am knitting all stitches. So I knit all stitches. And why I have less um, cast on on my needle, and I will show you why I have less um, on my needle. So I knit all stitches. And you see why I have less stitches. Now I'm showing you. So I knit one. I knit one. I yarn over and knit the rest of the stitch. And this hole in the middle, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. It's supposed to be there. So now I have more stitches. So I knit one, then yarn over, and knit all stitches. So I knit one. Oh, sorry, I was not doing that well, sorry. Uh, so I am knitting one again. And of course, I'm not, I show, I'm going to show you the decrease how I do it, but right now I can't because I have a lot of baby projects today. So I'm going to yarn over, I knit the rest. Right here, I'm going to show you this a little bit. 
Because you're here, you can see it probably. This shape of my desktop. And you see why. So I knit one again. Yarn over. Do the front of your needle. Then I knit the rest. So, it's like that now. Okay. So, I'm gonna not shoot talk the whole thing because I want to get this done. Okay, I So, I knit one. I knit one. And then I'll switch it. And this how I form my fish Um, and when you make it tighter, you can make it tight. If you weak, this is our root. This whole bee string. Double ported needles for beginners, I think it's going to be hard. If you want to learn, just let me know. Cause, um, this is, I like ported needles of my projects because it's easier for me to do. I'm going to show you. It's going to take me a while because um, I will show you how my square. I mean, my train. Shape like the last now. And this is like the bottom, the bottom part of your just cloth or face cloth. So I'm kind of like showing you how to do the rest. And I will show you when it's long enough because yarn always take a while. But if you're a fast knitter, it won't take you long. But I'm really fascinated. I'm gonna put my music back on because I don't wanna go. Um, Actually, I'm not going to put my music on today. So, this is my triangle looks now. And I think... Because this string is supposed to be down there, but I'm going to show you how to show it on. With this stitch. So, when I'm done... It's going to take a while. Because I have a lot of projects to do now. And I'm making a lot of baby stuff too, and so it's it's actually hard because I do these all once when I come back to school, and 
And so that's what, because my computer was broken before, but now it got fixed. And you can see actually better when, um, make it longer. And when I make it longer, you can see it better. And I'm um, gonna not show you the rest, but I will um, stay on here. So I'm gonna get one. And I'm really fast at knitting. So if you want. If you want me to slow down, let me know, because sometimes, and comment, please. Um, if I do too fast um, for you, just please let me know. If you can't even hear me um, on my YouTube videos, please let me know, comment, and enjoy the video. I hope you like my disc cloth I'm making and the color. Um, this ac color actually has uh, candy cotton, and they don't shrink. Um, if you use roll, they will shrink. Either you don't use that. So it looks like that. That's how I do the bottom part for all my dish cloth and my face cloth or. I don't make a lot of projects for me because I like doing it with other people. Um, actually, a lot of people, um, like guests or something. And but I just don't like making things for me. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But anyways, and well, you guys will like my video and please comment anything. If you can't even hear me on this video, I'm sorry, and and I will speak up. If I'm knitting too fast for you, just let me know. Um, I will make a slower video for you. And if you drop a stitch, um, I will show you how to fix that mistake because um, I know so when I began knitting since I was fifth fifth grade, um, I drop a lot of stitches, so I wait, and now I'm keeping going at it, and now I don't make a lot of mistakes. Um, so it's easy. If you guys need to hope to cast on this video, the just cloth, just let me know because I think I'm going too fast for you, but just please let me know. Um, you can use any size needle you want. Um, and I'm using pudding needles for this project, but you don't have to. So I'm just kind of like, you know, knitting away, and and I know one of all of my friends at school will like my video, and I hope all of you, you guys, will like my video because, and I do a lot of videos, and I donate hats actually at Low General, and I made it a lot a tons of baby blankets for my friends or perhaps people having a baby and I make all those and I make scarves, I make baby hats, I make blanket, I make anything. So if you like my videos, just let me know. Find it all.